What's going on guys, so all of you here, welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have just released a new showdown and it is between Manchester United and Liverpool and the two players they have chose is Harvey Elliott and Veghorst and both players are looking very good. They gave Veghorst a skill move and weak foot upgrade. So Veghorst has now got four star skill moves with a four star weak foot, right footed with high high work rates and he is a six foot six player. The card itself is an 88 overall with 87 pace, 87 dribbling, 90 shooting, 80 pass and 94 physicals now this is not a cheap play SBC it requires an 87 an 85 and an 83 rated team altogether 350,000 coins now we can play in two positions the striker and center forward position and the chem style that I've decided to go for is the engine chem style the engine chem style looks really good on their course because you give him the extra dribbling stats which I do believe he's gonna need and you also do increase the pace a nice amount as well the other chem style that does look good is the hunter chem style but that's only if you go for a crazy amount of over top through balls with him having that lengthy accelerate style while also having 98 sprint speed with the hunter yeah that is going to be crazy and if you are a person that goes for a lot of over top through balls and you don't really need someone to feel nice on the ball then yeah hunter chem style definitely is going to be the way to go for you it's just i want to make vehicles feel nice on the ball so i've gone for an engine chem style to help out with the dribbling stats the pace with the engine 88 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. The pace is not a joke. The shooting stats, shooting inside the box should not be an issue. Outside the box, it doesn't look too bad. Like 84 long shots, 96 shot power does look very nice. It's just I'm not expecting the long shots to be crazy good. And unfortunately, he has not got any shooting traits. The passing on his card, whew, for a striker, yeah, it is very good. 94 short passing with the engine chem so applied. 94 vision as well. The long passing being at 82 with the engine isn't too bad. And I feel like in game, it's going to feel better because of the vision being so high. The dribbling stat with the engine chem style. Yeah, it actually looks very nice for a player that is six foot six. He's got 81 agility with 84 balance, 95 reactions, 93 ball control, 92 dribbling and 95 composure as well. I'm not expecting Veghorst to feel crazy on the ball but I'm expecting him to feel nice on the ball the physicals 90 jumping 99 heading accuracy power header trait six foot six he is going to be a beast up in the air 90 stamina 97 strength and 93 aggression also looks very very good on this card links Manchester United Netherlands the links are not a joke there's a certain left back that you do get a beautiful link to you obviously got players like Rashford Casemiro the lot Virgil van Dijk you get the nation link and the league link as well the links on the card are amazing positions I will be playing Vekors in one position actually two positions I'll play him down the line as well so I can get those back stick crosses so down the line in a right wing position and also in a striker position as well so let's get into the games and let's see how good the new showdown Vekors is gonna be He's already pushing so many players forward. Let me see if I can get him behind. There you go. Mahrez is in. He's going to try to play him offside. He doesn't. Vekos, use that pace. Use that pace. Come on. There you go. Near post. I red-timed it. That was good pace to get him behind, though. First time through bullet. Vekos, nice touch and turn. Quick R1 dribble. Give it back to him. Across goal. Needs to be a good shot. And it is a very good shot. The shot power there was amazing. Let's go for a ball roll scoop. Pass it into the middle. Fake shot. I'm actually going to go for a finesse shot. I don't go for a finesse shot very often. And that is why finesse shots in this game near the box are very inconsistent if they're going to go on target or off target. And I even green time it and it still doesn't go on. Play it in the space to Rashford here. That's a nice overlap by Veghorst as well. I'm going to see if I can get a ball roll around the keeper. That is not a ball roll. Oh dear. Oh no. No. No, I think I yellow timed that. I don't know why I timed it. There is no point in me timing an open goal. I don't know what my opponent was doing there. He was kind of just like in his own world going straight past the goal as well. First time past that. There you go. Vekos. Nice. Him with a roulette. That's not a roulette. No. He uses his wrong foot. He, he needs to use his right foot there. Needs to use it. If he uses it, I'm telling you guys, it goes in. In a space early. There you go. Now I can just give it back into Casemiro. He's on his way. Zachariah. Vekos. No. <laughs> Get up. Get up. There you go. Strength. Nice. Just to hold off the player. Good turn as well. His left stick dribbling is not feeling bad at all. Hard angle. 
Nice and easy catch for Casillas there. The dribbling, the left stick dribbling coming off kind of kind of smooth. Not too smooth. You can definitely tell he's not like really quick with it, but definitely taking some nice touches there. First time passing the space. There you go. Ooh, I could have played that over the top, but I just wanted to keep it a bit more simple. Very course. Step overs. Full roll. Step overs again. Full roll again. There you go. And that is a prime example of how he's dribbling is. Like the ball is sticking to him when you're just going for these like little touches trying to get around the corner. Like the ball control you can really tell is top tier. Give it to Cancelo down the line. Can I get around him? I can. I'm just going to hit it up in the air to Vekos. I should have played that across the ground, honestly. I've got to turn. Got one into the space and everything. Needs to be a good goal. Needs to be a good goal. Needs to be a good shot. And it is a good goal all round. That step over just to get into the open space. I'm noticing the step over has actually come off way better than what I thought it was going to come off. I thought maybe there was going to be a little bit like of a delay with the animation. But there is no delay at all. Can we get another goal with him? Touch. Turn. Finish. Two goals. Just like that. Nice R1 dribble with Casemiro. R1 dribble with Rashford here as well. Way course. Nice. Get round. Step over. Step over again. Get it. No. Wait, we actually got a corner here. So we can uh, get him on to the end of this one. Come on. Zidane, this needs to be a perfect cross. Oh, I feel like that's good. Got one. It's perfect. No. He got past like two players there. There was two players trying to stop him. And he somehow still got on the end of that. Let's try it again. Near post. I'm very surprised he hasn't brought out the keeper. Seriously. Nah, come on. Come on. Green timed as well. I need to score one of these with him. I feel like that's good. Come on, get in front. <gasps> no, he was behind Smalling and he still somehow won it over Smalling. You can tell there was a little bit of strength as well. Like there was a push in her back and everything. He is very aggressive in that striker position. I'm noticing he is making runs in behind. Like there is times that he is coming short, but as soon as he sees like a, a slight gap open, he is making that aggressive run. Let me see if I can give it all the way down here to Rashford. Nah, I saw Vekos as well. He made another run there. First time in the space. There you go. You see how he was using his strength there as well against Smalling, but I just couldn't get around the corner in the space there again. See what I can do. I'm just going to hold off Smalling. Use that strength. There you go. See what I can do here. Him and a roulette. You know what I thought? I thought he was going to control the other center back and push towards me. If he did, that's when the roulette would have worked perfectly. But he didn't. He kind of like reacted very late to it. But the strength to hold off Smalling there was amazing. Nah, he's going to just sprint with Vegas, isn't he? Kulabali is struggling. What am I seeing? What is this? He's jamming his way through that. How did he get that in between Juan Cancelo and Koulibaly? Quick ball roll. Accelerate into the space. Pass it early. Veg horse. Look at that for a touch. Go on. Go on. Round him and everything. No. Why did it not pass to Rashford? Rashford was there waiting for the ball. And it locks on another player. No idea what just happened. But that pace to get round smalling there. That acceleration touch. Crazy. I'm just going to go for a cut back here. Let's go for the switcher play all the way over. And it's a very good pass. That is something that he's going to be really good at. Like if he does come short time to time, you can just like get the touch with him, turn around and just swing it all the way to the other side. Nice. With the chip. Go on. Nah, it was close though. Always brought out a keeper. But the keeper looks like it's Campos. Hold on. Let me see if I get this perfect. I'm trying to look for the penalty spot. Oh, there it is. That's decent. Fake horse. Go on. There you go. He's got Campos in goal. I feel like even if Campos is standing right next to him, surely there's no chance he actually gets it. Surely Vekos gets that ball over him. I need options. I see Zidane just waiting for that ball. Vekos. Nice. That should be in. That should be in. You see what I mean? That touch, that turn. Go for the step overs into the space. And it's a great finish. He's really good at doing that. I kind of want to give this into Cancelo, but I have a player inside the box that is six foot six. I might as well use him. And uh, somehow he actually held off the player with his strength. Just to allow the ball to run across him. Was it planned? No. But did it work? I mean, it kind of did. We still had the shot off. I'm going to send them on a run here. Just try to use that pace. Zidane needs to be a good ball. 
Veikhorst, win over him. Oh, he won it over him. He's just... I didn't really believe in him too much, I'm going to be honest. And I also thought it was going to go in front of him to the point where he could actually hit it with his feet and not with his head. He's running. Nice ball. Morris, take a good touch. Ball roll. Ah, oh, he's moved the keeper. He's moved the keeper as soon as you see him move the keeper and we still have that ball close to our feet. We all know it's going to be an easy goal. Let's keep it going down the line here. Can it get around? I can pass it into the middle. Roulette. Pen. Has to be a penalty. That roulette was perfect. I knew he was going to commit there. He thought Vekos or Vekos was not going to be able to uh, turn that like quick. So I just went for the early roulette, making sure I got that penalty there once he went in. Vekos, you have got 81 penalties. He has got 96 power as well. Top left corner. It's a good amount of power. He's read it. He hasn't. I thought, because usually, right? Usually when they move that way, they dive that way. But that was not the case here. Chip it up. Beautiful. Go for a flick. Oh my god. Wow. The double flick just to control the ball over the player as well with the other flick. And look at the finish. Side netting. So my final thoughts on Showdown Vekos, I ended up playing four games, I scored nine goals, and I also came out with a single assist with him as well. He is definitely a player that offers you a lot in that striker position. If you are a person that likes players like Politano or Showdown Correa in that striker position, I feel like Vekos is not going to be your type of player because those players, they are really, really agile on the ball. Vekos, he's not really, really agile on the ball, but... His dribbling was way better than what I expected. His R1 dribbling comes off so good. And the ball control, the ball is sticking to him. I couldn't believe some of the touches he was taking round corners. So yeah, for a six foot six player, he dribbles really well. Passing ability, amazing, especially for a striker. Shooting inside the box, both feet, top tier. Long shot, good nothing too uh nothing too insane like you can definitely tell the long shot is going to go in time to time with him but it's not going to go in every time the pace on a card oh yeah you can definitely tell he's got that lengthy accelerate style because this guy was getting in behind so easily and the physicals heading ability amazing even though i didn't score a lot of headers with him today you could just tell with some of the headers that he was getting onto it was yeah it was kind of ridiculous like he was behind two players in one occasion and he still jumps over him and somehow got onto the header his heading ability is going to be a problem to defend against especially in like foot champs you're going to get annoyed when you play up against veg horse and the ball comes up in the air and this guy's inside your box you're most likely going to concede and that is definitely going to annoy me in foot champs the strength on a card crazy good crazy crazy good holding off players for fun there were so many times as well where i wasn't even controlling him and he was backing into defenders using that 97 strength to kind of hold him off and just want that you know want that ball to his feet just kind of asking for it and that was great to see the price of this card is 370k do i believe it's worth it oh you have to keep in mind it is a showdown it is a card that can potentially get a plus two upgrade and if united and liverpool draw a plus one upgrade so it can get further upgrades as well i understand why ea priced it like that because you know it is united at the end of the day it is a very very popular team 370k with what he offers you i'm gonna say it's worth it i am gonna say it is worth it like i am really impressed with how good this card was and the fact that he is 4-4 as well is super nice because his original card has got two star skill moves with a three star weak foot the fact that they upgraded this card all the way to 4-4 is great to see see 370k i do believe it is worth it now there is one player that he reminds me of team of the year harland the thing with these two, right, both of them are really big in that striker position. Both of them offer you, you know, an amazing heading ability as well. Both of them feel nice on the ball, but not crazy good on the ball. Pace is obviously ridiculous on both of them. I obviously do prefer Team of the Year Haaland. It's just I wanted to let you guys know he has a very similar play style to Team of the Year Haaland. Now, where does he go? In the attackers tier list. Attackers tier list literally just went live like three hours ago, four hours ago. Just to let you guys know, link will be in the description. Where does Vekos go? Ah, it's a tough one. He is very good. And he is definitely a card that is going to annoy you in foot champs. He's going to annoy me. I can already tell. But I'm going to put him in the A plus tier. 
I'm not going to put him on the same level as Team Lee Harlan because I just feel like Team Lee Harlan is a better version of this Veghorst card. So he is going to go into the A plus tier. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.